now in this section we will learn further about the breathing and respiration okay my dear uh, in the first part we saw the respiratory system and their parts Let very small definition or introduction of those parts of the respiratory system now here we will see what is the role means how we will take the oxygen and how it will use it will use to generate the energy from food okay whole process of the respiration will be divided or can be divided into four steps first one is the first one will be the breathing or this breathing involves the two steps first one is called as inspiration inspiration means taking the air inside our lungs okay. and carbon dioxide rich air released into the environment with the help of lungs that is called as expiration second step of the respiration is their external respiration means <clears throat> gaseous exchange between air and blood we will learn in the detail or <clears throat> more uh, it is this will take place in the lungs and alveoli of the lungs where oxygen will come into the blood and carbon dioxide from the blood will come into the lungs that is called as external respiration after that third step of the respiration will be their internal respiration again here gases exchange but site will be changed it will be done in tissues or near the tissues or the cell where oxygen will diffuse into the cell and carbon dioxide from the cell or tissues will come into the blood and this blood carried to these carbon dioxide to the lungs and last one is that cellular respiration in this part of the respiration oxygen gas which is coming to the cell ready to burn the food item which is come by the help of cell circulatory system after the digestion digestion of food these food items will burn by the oxygen that is called as cellular respiration now we can see what is breathing i said earlier breathing is a process in which air moves in and out of the lungs that is called as breathing this is carried out through various respiratory organs in other word we can say breathing is a simple give and take process of oxygen and carbon dioxide the breathing mechanism involves two process inspiration and another one is the expiration now first step of breathing inspiration in this process we take the air complete air not only oxygen take the air inside our lungs how it will happen we can see here in this inspiration the contraction of the muscle which are attached to the ribs on the outer side which pull out the ribs and result in the expansion of the chest cavity later the diaphragm which is present between the stomach and thoracic chamber Con this diaphragm contracts and move downward and expand the chest cavity or thoracic cavity resulting in the concentration of abdominal muscles the exp expansion of the chest cavity produces a partial vacuum which suck the air into the lungs and fill the expanded alveoli means from the outside or from the environment now air reach into our alveoli of lungs you can see here 
in this slide two pictures first picture breathing in means for inspiration how the lungs expand diaphragm contract okay and another picture showing the expiration okay this ex expiration expiration is just reverse of the inspiration means push out the air from lungs to the environment the expiration in the process is considered once after the gases exchange occur in the lungs and air is expelled out this expulsion of air is called as expiration during this process muscles attached to the ribs contract and muscles of the diaphragm and abdomen relaxed which leads to the decrease in the volume of the chest cavity decrease means contract and chest cavity then after increase the pressure of the lungs pressure inside the lungs of air will be increased causing the air in the lungs to be pushed out through the nose because air moves from high pressure to low pressure got it now air which come into the lungs or alveoli in from this air oxygen will react with the hemoglobin which is present in our blood and make a oxyhemoglobin this is the new chemical and it is unstable now this oxyhemoglobin carried with the help of blood to the cell where food is ready to burn and in this cell in, in the cell where before, previous burning of food produces the carbon dioxide gas that carbon dioxide gas will again react with the hemoglobin and form the carboxy hemoglobin and carried to the lungs with the help of blood in form of carboxy hemoglobin now we can see what is breathing i said earlier breathing is a process in which air moves in and out of the lungs that is called as breathing this is carried out through various respiratory organs in other word we can say breathing is a simple give and take process of oxygen and carbon dioxide the breathing mechanism involves two process inspiration and another one is the expiration in that burning of food to produce the atp carbon dioxide gas and water released these carbon dioxide gas and water come into the blood plasma and react with the um, some part of the carbon dioxide and water vapor react with the uh, hemoglobin of the blood and form the carb carbon amino hemoglobin or carboxy hemoglobin these carried with the help of blood to the lungs and push 
hemoglobin release the carbon dioxide in the blood or oh, sorry in the lungs and lungs push out this carbon dioxide gas along the water vapor in the environment in this way our respiration will completed and we can see some more uh, little details about the respiration in this slide we can see the gases exchange in two places first left side the gases exchange from blood to alveoli or the lungs co2 and water vapor come into the lungs and oxygen go into the blood and in the cell just opposite from the cell water and carbon dioxide will come into the blood and oxygen from the blood go into the cell now we can see some um, difference between the breathing and respiration breathing in a simple way it is called as intake of fresh air and removal of foul air means bad air which contain carbon dioxide another way another side respiration is the oxidation of food means burning of food oxidation means burning of food to form the carbon dioxide water and energy rich chemical compound that is called as atp second difference physical process breathing is the physical process where the respiration is the biochemical process next one no energy is released in the breathing but in respiration energy is released don't be confused about the breathing and respiration respire means breathing is the part of respiration got it no enzymes involved in that in, in breathing but many enzymes involved in the respiration no uh, breathing is the extracellular process while respiration is intracellular resp um, uh, process means respiration occur in the cell next one breathing is confined to the certain organ but respiration occur in the cells of the body thank you thanks and have a nice day